It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hey guys, and today I have a mixed video. It's kind of a clothing haul, a bit of homeware, and a bit of makeup. It's basically a bit of everything, including music as well. It's like, it's got a bit of everything that I love. And so I thought I'd shove all of these items basically in one video because they're just things that I've recently bought and they don't fit anywhere, but I really want to show you guys what they are um, because some of them I absolutely love and then some of them are like new releases. So here goes. So first of all, I took another trip back to Lush. I only bought two things. There's still a few things that I do want to get before the Christmas range goes out of stock. However, these two items were not in stock when I first went to get the Christmas range. So I finally was able to get them. And the first thing is the gorgeous Snow Fairy shower gel. I absolutely love this. I don't think it's my Christmas scent. I think my Christmas scent would have to be the Magic of Christmas wand mixed in with the So White bath bomb. Love that. And so yeah, I'm so glad I got this. I got it in the 250 grams because I wanted to be able to use it all year round. Next thing I got was this cute little guy and it's the fairy dust. This is a dusting powder. This says, ready for an awfully big adventure? You don't have to wing it. All you need is a luster, trust and sprinkle of fairy dust. It smells so good and yeah. And since we're on Lush, you're probably thinking I'm going to go into candles. I haven't actually bought any recent candles because they're all burning right behind me. What I did manage to get was a new votive holder. I have this one and as soon as I saw this one which is like Christmassy, it's this gorgeous mosaic design with snowflakes on it. I just had to pick it up. There was two left and I just I just had to get it. I couldn't leave it. And it's just really nice and it fits in with um, what is going on behind me because it's red and white so this is kind of like a nice clear red and white. Oh my gosh this smells like perfume. It has like perfume scent to it for some reason. Boots and Super Jug released limited edition Christmas nail polish and me being me, I just had to get all four. So the ones I have here is Snowflake, which is this gorgeous silvery taupe shade. I really love that colour. And then we have da -da -da, Enchanted. This has to be one of my favourites. I just love how it's like a burgundy red with bright gold and orange shimmer running through it. I cannot wait to put that on my nails. And then we have is Nutcracker, which is this pink, like this deep pink with silver glitter running through it. And then we have uh, da, 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 Twinkle Twinkle, which I absolutely love. It's this gorgeous rose gold shade with glitter running through it. Next are a couple of NYX lipsticks. Now I did say quite a while ago in one of my videos, I can't remember which one it was, um, that I had a couple of the NYX lingerie lipsticks on order. They finally arrived and I think the one I had was Ruffle Trim and these ones that I ordered I have here is number 10 which is called Teddy and it's this gorgeous kind of like uh, nude brown, it's like a peachy brown, it's, it's just it's a lovely shade. And then we have, uh, da, 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 da. we have Embellishment which is this kind of like lilac nude and I've tried this on and it really, I really like it. It's very cool toned. So if you like cool toned matte lipsticks, I totally recommend this one. One of my favourites has to be this one though. This one's called Exotic and that's in number 12. And it's just this gorgeous pink, bright pink I would say nude shade. The next two lip products are also from NYX and these are the new liquid suedes. As soon as I heard that they were going to be releasing new liquid suedes, I was so excited because I just love the originals. They are my favourite NYX lipsticks. I got two from the range and these are very, very dark. I'm not kidding you. I heard that Ulta um, had exclusively released them in America on their website and I wasn't sure whether they were going to be released in the UK. But I held it off for so long and refraining myself from to order them over there because I thought if they're going to come over the UK I might as well get them from the UK. We eventually did and I picked up the two that I really wanted to get and this one is called Club Hopper so it's this burgundy deep burgundy red. Yeah it's like it's like almost brown it's just so dark. It has kind of like a hint of a purple in it but these are perfect for kind of like Halloween. I did work, wear both of these to work and I got so many compliments and people really liked them. And this one's called Brooklyn Thorn. 
they are so dark they look nothing like the packaging when they're on your lips they go much darker especially if you've got fair skin like I have um, if you've got darker skin tones these would look stunning but I do love these and these are just perfect for this time of year and Halloween especially so yeah totally recommend these two eyeshadows and these I actually got from America from Ulta I ordered these through a friend I'm so glad I got these because I haven't seen them anywhere in the UK yet and um, these are just limited or not limited edition but they're exclusive to Ulta at the minute and the two I got was Gilded so it's this like yellowy yellow shade look at the, look how bright that is that is so bright and it's I haven't got this on my eyes no but it's just so bright and I wasn't gonna get it but I thought you know what it's a lovely yellowy gold and I think I can make it work this one this one's called Rose Dust and this is the one I was most excited about because it is a rose gold. We didn't get a rose gold in the Prismatic NYX range before. We only got um, like a normal gold and then like a really bright gold and then you also had the orange and pink kind of contrast shadow. Um, but this one is a rose gold and I was so disappointed when it came absolutely smashed. I'll put a picture on screen if I still have the picture. It came it came closed with all the eyeshadow on the top and I was just so devastated because I knew as soon as I opened it it would be just everywhere. But I managed to fix mine. I didn't buy another one. I fixed it. Works like a treat look if I just swatch this on my hand. It just looks exactly the same. Nothing wrong with it and oh my gosh it's just a stunning colour. I love this shade. Next we have three eyeshadow sticks. The first one I haven't actually opened yet or used and this one is by Barry M and it's this gorgeous gold shade like it's like gold. <laughs> I saw it and I was like why haven't I got this? I love golds but it was just such a gorgeous gold shade and I, when I swatched the tester I just had to have it. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's just a really nice gold. I have to have every single gold shade ever. Next two things are from Kiko. Now when I went to visit my friend Aaliyah, um, we popped back into Kiko. I only bought two things because I was re restraining myself. But I picked up this moon shadow in one of their old collections. It was on offer and it's in the shade number two, like a chocolatey brown and it's got glitter running all the way through it. I just love Kiko's products. I have done ever since I found them when I went to Spain. I know we have stores in the UK and it's just even better. <laughs> it's so cool. I just don't have one in Leicester. We need one. The next thing I got was something from their Neo Noir range. As you know, I if you watch my videos, I did buy a few things from the Neo Neo Noir range. I bought a highlighter and a blush. Oh my gosh, those those products are amazing. I've been using them non-stop. I wanted to see what the eyeshadow pencils were like. And I went for the brown. It's this big chunky eyeshadow pencil and it's just it's a gorgeous shade. I was gonna get one of the and it was like this creamy gold but I already have so many creamy golds. I was like Kate you don't need it. You need more bronzy shades like I do. I really don't. Next we have is a bit of decor and this is the last piece of Christmas decor that I really wanted to get. I did get a few more fairy lights as you can see. I've been thinking I might even keep these up after Christmas because they just, I don't know, they like brighten up the room a bit and I like them. I did get one more Christmassy festive decoration and that was these gorgeous stockings I don't know how it's like bigger than my screen right now these gorgeous stockings say Christmas on them and I love it and I can put like little treats in there for myself for the last nine days down to Christmas or whenever it's this classic sack material that's what I'm going for with the letter C on and all the other letters on it and then um, little snowflakes in red and white yeah I'm gonna hang it up here. You probably won't be able to see it when I do my videos but I just wanted to trim my room up a little bit with some stockings and that was from Next and that was £14. Next is a CD and this CD I have been waiting for at least one and a half months, I don't know, I think, yeah, when it was first announced. And this is by the girl group Little Mix. Yes, it's Glory Days. I was so excited to hear that they were going to be releasing another album. My sister 
is away and I had to tell her immediately as soon as I found out because it's her favourite girl group. This album is just so good. I did get the deluxe and I also got this one Ooh, kind of it. This one signed. I also did get my sister the big de fan deluxe package, which it has this CD in it. It also has a t-shirt, a calendar, which I will be using because she's going to be away next year, um, which she is still is away. <laughs> um, and then it had a poster in there as well. So that will be all ready for her when she returns back from her mission. And I'm just so excited for this hamper that I'm going to be making for her. I'm just so excited to see her face when she comes back and realises how much presence she's got. I think I'm going to do a video on it, like we're just going to get her to unbox it. It's going to be like a full on unwrapping, that's what we'll call it, an unwrapping video for Claire. It's just going to be so good, I'm so excited. And there's so many of her friends that are, are sending presents as well, joining in, it's not just me. And my family are also helping me now, it's, it's just going to be so fun and I can't wait. My favourite song off this album is Nothing Else Matters, I absolutely love that song, it reminds me of my sister. I love Power, when I heard the sneak peeks of the song, Power was the one that really stuck out to me. So I love Power, love Nothing Else Matters. And then what I really love about this deluxe album is that it has the DVD of the Get Weird live tour and that is the tour that me and my sister went to before she went away to Barbados and I just think when she gets back we can watch it together and reminisce on what we experienced. Next we have some pyjamas from Primark. I didn't get these at the same time, I got them separately so I got the bottoms and the top separately because I didn't, yeah I'll explain it. The pyjama bottoms that I went for was these, oh my goodness. As soon as I saw these, I had to have them. They're just so cool. You have like Charmander, Pikachu, and then you have Bulbasaur, my favourite, and I'm squishing his face. <laughs> um, and then you have Squirtle, and then this pink background. Now the top with these bottoms had um, a Jigglypuff on it. As much as I love Jigglypuff, I really didn't like the top. It was just too much pink on it. And this, it doesn't look like there's pink on it at all when it's in, like, as you can see in the camera, it's just like, as the background, so it wasn't really focusing on pink. I mean, I love pink, but not that much. I wanted it more focused on these four guys, since that's what they are in the bottoms. I mean, there's no Jigglypuff in the bottoms, so it kind of didn't make sense. But a few weeks later, they released these set of pyjamas. This is just says Pokemon on it, which I absolutely love how it's just in this yellow font just like the show and then it has Pikachu on it it's just so cute and the bottoms with these was just Pikachu it was just black with Pikachu all over it but I thought no 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 this would go really nice with the bottoms I already have so I, don't, I didn't have to get the other ones I really love that and that was six pounds and the bottoms were eight pounds so yeah dead happy about that I bought these about a week ago and these are these pair of boots I have had my eyes on these for say three months I've been this is they're just so nice and they were originally 12 pounds but at the minute when you scan them through those tills they are nine pounds so I was so chuffed and I got these in a size five because the size six were massive on my feet they're so warm and they're so comfortable as well and I just they're just perfect and I really wanted a different color for a change because I have so many black boots it's unreal two more things this has been a trend I've noticed throughout the whole of autumn and going into winter and that would have to be these farm denim jackets or cord jackets. I got mine in the kind of cord material, a gorgeous burnt orange brown shade and I absolutely friggin love it. I was going to get the burgundy one from Primark but it was never in stock anywhere. However, I was actually happy I went for this one because the fur in the inside was so rough. I really didn't like it and for £18 it wasn't worth it, the fur wasn't worth it, however this one is the softest one I found. It beats Topshops and it beats New Looks and it beats Primarks and I don't, I'm not sure if H&M had one. It's just this gorgeous, so soft, I cannot tell you how soft this is and it's so comfortable, it's lined in the whole of the inside apart from the sleeves, it's not lined in the, in the sleeves which I actually really like because I hate having to put on a, a nice thick warm coat but then the sleeves have lining in the inside and it's just making me look really puffy and I can't move. That's basically what I'm saying. My arms don't need to be warm, they're plenty warm enough, it's the rest of me that needs to be warm in my opinion. 
This is from Matalan and this cost 25? Yeah, 25. I absolutely cannot tell you how much I love this jacket. I did have one problem with it when I first purchased it, is that the back of the jacket came out really far when I was wearing it. It was like sticking out so far. And this was the smallest size, it was a size eight. But my lovely grandma, she's just a genius at sewing and doing anything to clothes. She moved the button along and added this new button because the old button was like a metal one, so it wasn't very good to move along. But she moved moved it along and so it's much tighter, it's more fitted to me. And I absolutely love it and it's got fluff all over it. Get off. Now, one thing I haven't done this year and I don't think I'll be doing is a Christmas jumper video or even a jumper haul because there isn't that many jumpers I like this year. There were so many last year, including this one. This is the one I got last year. Love this jumper. There isn't that many jumpers out there this year, which I was a little bit disappointed at because I did want to get a few more Christmas jumpers. But that saves me a lot of money. Hey ho. However, I did spot one and I I just, I was on it like Donkey Kong. I think there was a 20% discount on Forever 21 and that's where it's from. Oh, it's like my favourite Christmas jumper ever. I think it might even like, I think it's, this one's my favourite along with the cardigan. I have, I think it's like my third favourite. I think I have three favourite Christmas jumpers slash cardigans. But oh, it's just so nice. It's very similar to this. This one's kind of like just a wintry autumn one all year round and it has like trees on the elbows. But this one is definitely a Christmas jumper, you cannot deny it. And it's this gorgeous tartan jumper with kind of these ironed on or sewn on. I think they're embroidered on. Yeah, they are. Um, they're embroidered on like there's a bow and then you have a little gingerbread. I love the gingerbread. And then you have a stocking, um, a wreath. And then you have a Christmas tree in the middle. Another gingerbread down here and then you have a candy cane over here and it's just so nice now on the website the model that is wearing it the sleeves looked a bit cropped so they came to about here but this is a size small and the sleeves come right down to my wrists I was just so happy about because I love jumpers that come down to the wrist and I can just like do this you know pull them down and get all cozy I could do the same with this jumper and the length of it is amazing it just fits me how I want it to fit me but I love it I really, really do. It's like my favourite Christmas jumper. It's so pretty. I think this was, originally it was £18, but I got it for £15. I think that was about right. I cannot wait to wear this on Christmas Day. So excited. Best Christmas jumper purchase I've made this year. Probably the only purchase. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys so much. I really do appreciate all your comments. I am holding a Q&A, a Christmas Q&A, um, very, very soon. So if you can post all your comments and questions in this video or tweet them to me using the hashtag crazykins, I will for sure try and get them in the video. I'm so excited for what you guys want to know and hear from you. Just make sure they're all Christmas related. They don't have to be, but I would like them to be because it is a Christmas Q&A. I will make sure I will answer all of your questions or try to answer all of your questions that you send to me. I've already put the photo up on Instagram and Twitter so you can just comment on that photo. Yeah, that is everything. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye! just fell off my desk. My dad's listening to the choir. The um, tabernacle choir. Sounds very good. It's making me go to sleep. Okay, bye.